friends and welcome to a new vlog. So it is a beautiful sunny Monday here. It is a bit chilly but I'm really enjoying the sunshine and vitamin D and honestly I'm just feeling really inspired this week. I don't really know why but it's been a while since I've felt really creatively inspired so I'm going to ride that wave. Um, today, for some reason, I had no plans to start filming a reading vlog, but I was just sitting in class today and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film a reading vlog this week, so I've decided to do that. It's about noon on Monday, and I've already had two classes this morning. I normally would have one more this afternoon, but it's actually canceled today for some reason. So I'm done with classes for the day, and I just have random tasks to do the rest of today. I do have quite a busy week ahead of me, but it's not a stressful week. It's mostly just lots of to-dos, but no big exams or presentations, which is honestly really nice. I love it when I have a week like that. But I'm currently reading The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne. This is my fifth book of the year, and I'm about 50 pages in right now. And last week, I had a really stressful week. I had presentations and tests, and I just feel like I kind of fell off the reading bandwagon, if you will. So I thought it would be super fun to film a reading vlog this week and see if that can kind of help me get back into my reading rhythm, if you will. So yeah, I'm super excited to see if I can finish this by the end of the week. Like I said, it's Monday, so my goal is to finish by Sunday. Um, it's about 350 pages long, but it is fairly dense. I mean, physically, it's pretty dense, but also the language is quite old and flowery. But I'm enjoying it and I think the topic will be very interesting. I don't know much about it yet because I just finished the introduction, which is actually part of the novel. It's not like introductions in other novels. This introduction is like actually written by Nathaniel Hawthorne through the perspective of the narrator of The Scarlet Letter. So that part has been pretty dense and I don't really understand what's going on. But now that I'm done with that, I think the plot will pick up and I'll have a better understanding of what the story's about. But I am enjoying it so far and it's nice to just dive into an old classic. So for the rest of the today, I'm actually going to head to the gym now and just get that done. And then I have lots of computer work to do this afternoon. So I get a lot of questions about this, but I am actually marketing major here at my university. I'm hoping to also minor in English literature, but I'm just not sure if I'll have the room in my schedule. We'll see. But as a marketing major, I have to take a lot of business related classes. And one of those classes is like about the computer side of business. So Access and Excel and all those Microsoft Office suite applications. And it is very time consuming. So I have a few assignments for that that I'll be working on this evening as well as I have um, a Title IX training Zoom late tonight at 8 o'clock. It's required of our all students. So anyways, suffice to say I have a lot to do today but I'm hoping that maybe by the end of today I can be page 80 or 90 in The Scarlet Letter. We'll see. It 
is now just before eight o'clock and I'm about to hop on the Zoom for this Title IX meeting. And yeah, I'm hoping that goes quickly and then I wanna keep working on my YouTube video. I did make lots of good progress on my homework for today though, I'm really glad about, so. Anyways, let's plan for basically the rest of tonight. just wanted to show you guys how cool is this um so i buy most of my books second hand and sometimes they'll come with annotations inside and this one does have some annotations and i think it's really interesting to just see what other people thought was significant especially because i think a lot of people read this for class so it's interesting to get that kind of educational point of view but yeah i think it's really cool it's like a little blast from the past Welcome to Tuesday. So as you saw this morning, I had kind of a later start than I normally like. It's just how the cards unfolded. I ended up having a weirdly late night last night. So anyways, this morning I woke up a bit later than normal and basically went to the gym right away. I did some biking and core. I was actually planning to run on the treadmill for the first time in about four weeks because four weeks ago I injured my foot somehow and I haven't been able to run. I can do anything where my foot isn't like flexed, but so that's basically anything but running or walking. Um, and I never really, I never saw a doctor for it. Like, I don't know exactly what it is because it was pretty minor, but I couldn't really run on it for a while. And this morning I was, I woke up, my foot hadn't hurt for like a week and a half now. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna try going for a run. And then as I'm walking to the gym, my foot starts hurting and it hasn't hurt for like, a week i have no idea but i decided not to run i biked just because i'll be training for a 5k in march so i really want to make sure my foot is completely healed by the end of the month but i digress i did my workout and i came back here and cooked a very yummy breakfast brunch i love breakfast food so i will eat it basically any time of the day and now i'm gonna settle in and get started on some work i have lots of work to do today um first up i need to do some math homework and then edit this youtube video and get it ready to go live in the morning and then i have a graded project for my computer class that will probably take a decent amount of time i have two classes this afternoon starting at 4 45 until 7 20 so my evening is kind of taken up so hoping I can get all my work done before then. I am officially 80 pages into the Scarlet Letter and it has definitely picked up more now that I've gotten through that introductory part which was just so dense, oh my gosh. It's definitely a bit more interesting and there's lots of mystery. I don't know, but it's, it's set in puritanical America, I guess technically 
New England, it was still British territory then, I'm pretty sure. But um, yeah, it's very interesting because the language is all like old Puritanic English and you know, obviously this town is super Puritan and like very strict with their laws. So it's an interesting read so far and I'm curious to get a little further into the plot and see what's up with Hester Prynne is the main character's name. And yeah, I'm hoping today I can get to page 150. I just had to film this because this is such an exciting moment. I have been dreaming of this for years. Even before I started my YouTube channel, I had always wanted to start a YouTube channel. And uh, I just qualified to apply for monetization on YouTube. So now my AdSense account is getting reviewed and then YouTube will review my page and see if it you know, qualifies, which I'm not, I haven't done anything wrong, so it should. And yeah, I'm so excited. I know YouTube puts ads on my videos even though I'm not monetized currently. So it won't be any different for you guys, but it's just a huge step in reaching the goals that I'm working toward and I am just so excited. Thank you all so much for being here. It wouldn't be possible without you and I'm just bursting with joy. I mean, you have no idea how grateful I am to all of you. So thank you. Okay, I got stumped <clears throat> on a few math problems, so I think I'm just gonna leave that for now. It's due tomorrow morning, but I think I'll revisit it um, tonight and see if any of my other classmates have made any progress too to help me figure out what I'm doing wrong. I don't really know. Um, this math class is pretty confusing. It's like not typical math. It's not like calculus or algebra, so it's a little weird. friends it is Wednesday morning and it is quite early I am about to leave for class but I wanted to update you guys really quickly so I ended up having a pretty whirlwind evening last night it was really busy I didn't even finish homework until 9 and then I had a few things come up so needless to say I didn't get much reading done because I have to go to bed pretty early on Sunday and Tuesday nights because I have to be up fairly early on Monday and Wednesday mornings because of my class schedule so Anyways, I didn't get a ton of reading done, definitely not as much as I hoped, but I am hoping that today will be a lot better and I'll be able to read some more. And yeah, I'm just gonna head out to class and get started on my day. As you saw, I had a really productive day. I'm honestly really happy with everything I got done. It was super busy. I mean, I was out of my room pretty pretty much from eight to five, and then I got back and just started homework almost right away. 
but I crossed so many things off to my to-do list and it just feels really nice. Um, Austin came over this evening just to hang out and we ended up just chatting for a while so I didn't have the most time to read like normally the time that I would be reading I was talking to him but that's okay I'm always thankful for that time together and I mean we're obviously not always in a chatty mood especially because we're often so busy so it's just nice to catch up sometimes but anyways I didn't read as much as I planned to today but I am on page 140 of the Scarlet Letter and I'm really starting to enjoy it more it definitely had a slow start but it's very interesting so far, and I found the language pretty flowery at first, especially in the introduction, but now that we're kind of into the thick of the plot, I'm honestly not finding the language hard anymore. I mean, I'm surprised by the shift in Hawthorne's kind of style, but there's definitely a big shift, so. Anyways, I'm definitely enjoying it, and I think I'll try to squeeze in a few more pages before I go to sleep tonight. And I'll have a decent amount of time tomorrow, so I'm hoping I can maybe get to page 200 even a little further tomorrow. So that's the plan, and I will see you guys in the morning. rainy morning here it's actually quite warm outside especially for the time of year but it's very rainy I actually got a flash flood warning this morning so anyways <clears throat> it worked out really nicely that I don't have class this morning so that I could just stay inside and stay cozy and warm so as you saw I whipped up what the fuck <coughs> as you saw I whipped up a breakfast this morning I just had eggs and sausage and strawberries, nothing fancy, but very yummy nonetheless. And then I put in some laundry and stripped my bed because I'm gonna wash my linens too. And then I set a timer for 30 minutes and decided to just sit down and read. Um, sometimes I feel like I try to get all my work done and then have time to read and sometimes that just doesn't happen. And since I'm a little behind where I want to be in the book at this point in the week, I decided to just set a 30 minute timer this morning and read. 30 minutes isn't gonna make a difference um, really in how much work I get done today so I thought it was just just a good way to prioritize reading so anyways I'm gonna get into my work for the day now and hopefully I have much more time to read tonight I'm really enjoying the Scarlet Letter it's very intense um, the language is is very puritanic and so it's very like heavy on like sins and just all these <laughs> very heavy topics, but it's it's interesting for sure, and it's definitely picking up in terms of entertainment. Hello, my friends. It is about 8.30 and I just finished up eating dinner. So I was out most of this afternoon through the evening. I had to drop off something at the health center here. And then I had my two classes, econ and the computer and business class I'm taking. And it was just a really long evening. The weather is terrible outside. It's very cold, rainy, and the wind is absolutely insane. It inverted my umbrella. Like my umbrella is broken now. <laughs> So it's just, it's kind of terrible walking through all of that, but I'm back now, I've eaten, I'm, I'm warmed up, I'm so cold, I was not dressed. Warm enough because the weather app said it was 52 degrees, but in the time I was out it dropped to 32 and windy and rainy, so anyways. <laughs> 
tonight I want to clean my room um, because, you know, assuming the weather works, we're supposed to get some ice and snow tonight. So this may not happen, which would be so sad, but I'm supposed to go home tomorrow for the weekend just to visit and take a little break just for literally like 72 hours. But anyways, I'm trying to get my weekend chores done before I leave. And I already did my laundry today, but I definitely need to do my weekly like vacuum and surface wipe down. And then I have a few other schoolwork things to do, a few social media things to do, and then I'm gonna read. So I'm officially over halfway through the Scarlet Letter now. And it really is getting good. I feel like there's some witchy things going on, which I wasn't super expecting. I mean, obviously it's set kind of in Massachusetts, kind of in the Salem area and era and all that, but I'm getting like some dark, there's lots of like demonology references. Like if you've seen The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina on Netflix, like there's a lot of references to like the Dark Lord and all that like satanic witchy stuff. So anyways, that's fun and at least entertaining if not fun, but yes, I'm enjoying it and I'm hoping to read a decent amount. <laughs> forgive my very wet hair I just showered but happy Friday it is Friday this morning I woke up quite early because I had a sponsored YouTube video going live so that'll be up um, when you're watching this video it's a cozy weekend vlog so if you want to go check that out feel free and it was a lot of fun and I'm glad it went up okay without any hiccups and then I basically left and went straight to the gym I didn't film much of it just because you know this isn't gym vlog, this is a reading vlog, but <laughs> um, I did upper body and that was nice, even though I was feeling pretty low energy today, honestly. But I'm glad I did something. And now it's about, I ate breakfast and showered and all that, and now it's about 10.30 and I have to leave for class at 11, so I have half an hour. I have a reel going up at noon today that I need to kind of get prepared and archived and everything ready to go up at noon, because that'll be right after class. Um, so that's what I'm going to do for the next half hour and then probably start packing. Thankfully, it looks like the weather is going to be okay for us to travel out of town tonight. It did snow and ice last night, but it's quite sunny today. And since we're leaving this afternoon, it will be above freezing. So the driving conditions should be okay, thankfully. And I'm excited. It means I get to go home and see Calvin and my family. And yeah, so I'm going to work on that reel and then pack and Hopefully get to class a little early so I have some time to read. Happy Sunday. So I didn't really end up vlogging much yesterday because I just wanted to focus on spending time with family, but I did end up getting a decent amount of reading done. So I'm now 200 pages into the Scarlet Letter, which means I do still have 100 pages to go and it is Sunday, which is when I was hoping to be done with the book, but I still have the rest of today. And I'm driving back to school today, so I will actually have quite a few hours to read in the car. Um, Austin and I drive here and back together and usually one of us will drive one way and the other will drive the other way. So I drove here which means he'll drive us back. So I'm hoping I can have a little time to do some reading and I probably won't finish the book today but 
I definitely will in the next day or two, so yeah, I just wanted to come on here and update you, and I will see you in a little bit later today. happy monday as you can see i've had quite the busy morning i had to leave my room around 7 30 and go straight to class and then i had classes basically the whole morning and a little bit of time to work in between and now it's about one o'clock i've eaten some lunch and i'm about to head to the gym and i don't know if you'll remember but i started this vlog on a monday and since today is the next monday i'm absolutely determined to finish the scarlet letter it's definitely been a little slower than i had hoped but I'm going to finish it today, I know I am. So I have less than 50 pages left because I've already done a decent amount of reading this morning and I have a really busy afternoon and evening. I have the gym, a health center appointment, another class, and an interview for an upcoming presentation. So I'll be pretty constantly busy until about 6.30, but then I'm gonna do a little bit of homework and then commit to finishing the book. So. We're almost to the end and I'm just going to go have a productive day so that I can have time to read. It is 10 o'clock on Monday night and I have officially finished The Scarlet Letter. So I'm gonna give some thoughts here without giving away any spoilers. So there's no synopsis available, but basically The Scarlet Letter is about, you know, it's set in this Puritan New England town and um, very early on it's established that the main character, Hester Prynne, has had has conceived a child out of wedlock so she has you know lain with a man out of wedlock and has you know become pregnant from that and that's kind of like the indication of her guilt right because she's unmarried but pregnant so obviously something happened and so she is doomed to wear an embroidered scarlet letter on the bosom of her dress for the rest of her years basically and she and her daughter who is born um, kind of live out their years in this Puritan town and a big part of the plot is centered around who the father is and once the reader finds that out a big part of the plot is like you know what happens then like what the three of them are gonna do and this book honestly threw me for such a loop because the first part of the book which is technically part of the book it was written by Nathaniel Hawthorne so it's not like a standard introduction that is written by a different person for a classic book. It is the Custom House Introductory. It's the Custom House Introductory to The Scarlet Letter, kind of written from the narrator's point of view before he goes into detail of the story of The Scarlet Letter. And that's the first 50 pages of the book, so it's almost a sixth of the book. And I thought it was so dull and hard to follow and the language was so flowery and descriptive that I honestly didn't know what was going on at points. I really, I didn't enjoy it. I like to think I'm pretty good at reading classic literature, but um, it was it was not my favorite, I, I will admit that. But when I got through that and I got to the actual story of The Scarlet Letter, I was actually really pleasantly surprised by how enthralling it is. I mean, it still has that super flowery language and it's still definitely old classic literature right like it's not going to read super quickly like a modern novel would but 
at the same time this story is really rooted in like kind of this he's like puritan beliefs so there's a really strong sense of like in the dark woods there's satan and witches sign their name in his book and blood and like there's suspected witches in the book and then you know anyone who's kind of veered off the path of puritan godliness has is also suspected of like being in satan's book and the child who's born out of wedlock is given these really like impish characteristics that make her seem almost like demonic in my opinion this book could be very very easily adapted to a horror film like not even just a period film or a historical film like there are a lot of parts of this book that are really eerie and creepy like i could really easily see a very scary not scary but unsettling horror movie coming out of this novel and i have to say i wasn't expecting it to be so creepy i was kind of more expecting just like your standard tale of like puritan new england but it's definitely much more than that it's much spookier like this would be a really good read for halloween time because it definitely has those like old puritan witchy vibes which i think is like a certain sect of witchy vibes you know um like kind of similar to the era of the salem witch trials once like i said i got through that 50 pages of introduction i really enjoyed the rest of the novel and i thought the ending was really well done i did not see it coming and like i said in the past i feel like sometimes with classic novels it's really easy to see the end coming because it's a trope that's used a lot nowadays but this novel, I definitely did not see the end coming. I thought it stayed original right up until the end. And I'm like, I'm satisfied with the ending, to be honest. So anyways, I really highly recommend it. It was a great book to read. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next week.